Yar, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pixel Pirate. Today, we're going to actually go ahead and dig that canal that we had prepped for last time by making our awesome trusty spade. Now, we are going to go ahead on over here. I will go ahead and do it off the screen, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like in the end. Hold on. Let me show you the map first. Like I said, we're going to click. I'm going to, I'm going to try to dig out maybe a little bit deeper here, connect these guys here, and then maybe do a little bit deeper and connect these guys over here, and, and we'll check this out area as well. But like I said, I'll, I'll do that all off the screen so you don't have to see it, but at least you know what I'm doing, uh, and then I'll be back with you guys here once I'm done all right everyone and we are back <clears throat> All right, and everyone, and we are back. Uh, I am not done completely with modifying the uh, the terrain, but I figured I would go ahead and show me creating ourselves a another barrel because I figured that would be pretty awesome. I believe it's just this. Uh, oh no, I'm mistaken. Let me go ahead and check it one more time. Okay, we need a slab on top. That's okay. So that's where I went wrong. So let's go ahead and make a slab on top or some slabs here, and there we go. One slab on top. Just in the middle, and then here we go. And there's our next barrel. Uh, let's go ahead and put this in our hot bar. And we'll put this right down next to our cobble. I figured, yeah, I'd just show this because, you know, it's nice. It's nice to, ooh. It's nice to uh, to remember how uh, how we, how to make this stuff. Uh, I, I sometimes forget, like, with mods and stuff, how how to how to work with them, and it's just nice to be reminded sometimes that uh, that we we should be using the mods that I'm implementing in here, and as well as I would love love to hear your guys' suggestion down below as to what mods you guys would be interested in seeing in this uh, in this pack. Uh, there's some stuff that I have considered already, but uh, anything new would be would be greatly appreciated, and I'm sure you guys would love love to put your hand in. So yeah, there we go. That's the sand, and like I said, we've that's only the first day of doing this. Our uh, our trusty spade is about halfway down. Down, though so I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe repair it um, I actually think I might do something different to it but uh, I'm not gonna give that away just yet I'll uh, see you guys when I am completely done this time I just wanted to show me making that barrel and stuff like I said see you see you in a minute all right everybody and we are back uh, I went ahead and finished up the canals I will go ahead and show them off as soon as I get to the other bank here uh, now it's time for the next step which would be uh, mining up all of these uh, trees here and we doesn't seem like I have a tool on me to do so so we'll have to go inside but first let me go ahead and show you guys the uh, the map now so like I said I went ahead and connected these underwater you see how so that's double deep so that hopefully a boat can get through here and then I widened up this little canal here and we're gonna we can be able to come out to the ocean right there as you can see so now we have a clear path from our front yard into the ocean hopefully now, like I said, we're going to need uh, some of these blocks or some some of these some of this wood. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much we should take. Uh, I'm okay with about 25 or so. I think that'll be a great number. So let me go ahead and grab this axe. And why don't we go ahead and just get rid of all of the uh, the sand that I'm carrying as well. Which, by the way, we have a ton of it now, which is absolutely ridiculous. There we go. So it should be popping into my hand as well uh, as me just right-clicking here. There we go. And... Wow, just a lot. It was a lot of sand, though. It was a lot of work. It took me about a half hour. It wasn't a big deal. Um, as you can see, though, our trusty spade is really beat up. I do have plans on repairing it, but uh, obviously we don't have mossy cobblestone right now, so we won't be able to do that. Now, like I said, about 25 pieces will do. We already have five on us, so we're only looking for about 20 more. Uh, I think that's that's a fair number. As well as we're going to need to collect our... our, our um, our cotton or our flax in the backyard uh, we're gonna want to we're gonna want to go ahead and, and harvest all of that because that's pretty important to us as well so let me go ahead and do that and I'll be back with you guys when we're back up in the house all right and we are back now I hear a zombie in here so I figured we'd take care of them together uh, I don't know how he didn't hurt himself on the bushes but whatever no big deal. Let me go ahead and set this back down. Now, like I said, I went ahead and got the flax seeds and I made those into our wool because that's what we need for our next part of our project, which is our floaters. Now, floaters are part of our community ships mod. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to make them just like this. Uh, we're going to get 26, in fact, so that's very awesome. Uh, more is better than less. Let's go ahead and start construct constructing our boat right out in front of our house, hopefully. Um, right over here, we should be fine. Now, I'm thinking of a longer, thinner boat. Look at the manta rays. Uh, just, it freaked me out to see it first. So now we, we can use that as our starting block. And there we go. 
Um, now, we're not going to want a super deep boat, but I figured too deep would be pretty cool. So we're just going to put this as a placeholder block and we'll do this. It is raining. And then this, uh, we'll do it on both sides. Right like that. And hopefully, hopefully that'll that'll be buoyant and, and work well. Now, we're going to want to come out to a tip here. So here like this. And then uh, I'm not sure what these are best mineable with. If I had to guess, they're an axe. But we should probably get out from underwater. That's probably our best bet. And we'll jump up here. And uh, it looks like a, a sword was probably the fastest one. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on the other part. Actually, you know what? I don't really, I, I don't know that I like this look. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see what yeah what breaks us fastest first. Uh, it doesn't really have like a fast one, does it? Is a hand the fastest? Let's try our hands. Yeah, it looks like it's all the same mining speed for everything. But what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make it actually all the same level now that I think about it, and then we'll work on having the raised sides once we want to add um, some decoration to the boat. So, like I said, let me go ahead and finish this up here. Uh, and then we also need to we also need to craft a few other things. Uh, clearly, there's a few things that I'm, I'm missing out on. Now there we go. Uh, how many do we have? Twenty uh, plus five. We're missing one uh, here. Okay. So now yes, let's make this one a little longer. Maybe one more even. And then we'll do one wider here, and we'll let it thin back out in the back like that. Uh, hopefully this will. There we go. Just like that. And then we still have six left. So why don't we add three to the front and three to the back? Just like this, so that it is still the same, but just a little bit longer. So now we have an even longer boat. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to navigate through here. Now, let me go ahead and just take out these ones. This sand here, so we're not connected to the land anymore. And now that's a floating structure. You can see underwater um, that it will be a floating structure. And then we're gonna we're gonna actually craft a few, uh, the the other few things that we need. So give me a second, and uh, we'll be back up in the house. All right, and here we are back up in the house. I figured we could drop off our flax seeds, and uh, we're going to need to pick up a piece of iron. We have sticks, and here we go. So now we're going to craft the ship's, ship's helm. I apologize. I said shift there. Uh, there we go, and then we should have one in the middle. Is it like this? Oh, no, it's the exact opposite. I always get these crafting recipes wrong. I have no idea why, but there is our ship's helm. Now, I think we made, yes, we made a control panel before. Remember, uh, when we made the airship, I had made the mistake of, um, of crafting the wrong one. Now, I think if, I think our boat is going to want to be uh, a little bit a little bit more stealth, so why don't we go ahead and make a bunch of this, and then I think we're going to go ahead and go with a lot of stairs actually now that I think about it let's go ahead and spread those out evenly here and uh, and then we're gonna also want some flat ones there we go some slabs and we'll go ahead and, and decorate the boat accordingly so I'm thinking what uh, so or at least what I'm thinking is that we will come around the edge of the boat with these stairs kind of like this um, in the water hopefully that'll translate well um, all the way around the boat so just like this Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, that might be too wide. We need a thin boat in order to get through some of these smaller canals. So why don't we go ahead and do this a layer up, right? So we're going to do this, this. Okay, there we go. We got it back. And like I said, yeah, we're going to do this a layer up. Hopefully here. Um, we're going to want to do these guys all down the side here like this. And then we're going to want to do this. Yes, we're going to need more wood. Okay, let me go ahead and collect a bunch more material for this. And uh, and we'll get we'll get the idea going. All right, you guys. So the ship is almost done. There's just one more thing that I really wanted to grab um, before we went ahead and left off or, or took a look at the boat. Uh, it's not completely uh, done, like I said. Uh, but there's just one more thing. I just wanted to take down these. Uh, this floor here, I will go ahead and pick up all the wool, I, I guess, if I don't catch it all here uh, on the ground floor. Now, what we're doing is we're getting, obviously, wool because we needed a little bit more wool, I'm not going to lie. Um, but hopefully, this works out well. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good idea in theory. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to blow over well. Let's go ahead and grab the, uh, the pieces of wool that we missed and then come right back upstairs. Now, I did do a little bit of building on the boat. Remember, you can only have, like... 40% uh, of the blocks need to be the floater blocks or else it's not gonna it's not gonna be a boat It's gonna be a, a, a Part of the bottom of the ocean. So let's go ahead and add just the couple other things that I wanted to add now I wanted to start by adding this our mast ah, No Yeah, they're like that and then I think we should go even like maybe one higher 
But in order to go higher, we obviously need to be able to jump up there. So why don't we go ahead and start by doing this, right? And then there we go. And then, yeah, like that. And then I kind of want this to be here, here, there. And then we'll do this away. And then this blue one right here like that. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of backwards like that. Um, and now I wanted to place the helm here, right? And then I don't know, I don't know if I like this hot block hanging over, so we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, and then we'll put our gauges here on uh, on the uh, helm by shift right clicking. Uh, and there we go, that is our, our ship. It's got a little sail on it. Actually, the, the sail could probably even be a little bit taller now that I'm looking at it. Let's go ahead and head on up. I think I, yeah, I want it one, at least one taller. So like that, and then let's go ahead and add our wools like this, this, and then we can add one here like that. Yeah, that's that's way better. I think that looks way more like a like a, uh, a sail. So let's go ahead and take down this now, and hopefully uh, this thing will float. Ah! Oh, did that destroy part of our boat? Please don't. Please don't. Oh no, it was in water, that's right. If creepers don't destroy things if they're in water. Okay, so let's go ahead and right click this now and see what we get. Assemble ship, mount ship. Now, oh, we're buoyant, you guys. We are moving. Let's go ahead and see how this baby handles. Ooh, and it's fast, or it feels fast. Oh, this is awesome. We need to take our time. Oh, this is so cool. And like I said, I made it thinner so that we could fit through some of these tighter passageways. Uh, hopefully, come on. There we go. We're getting a little bit of bouncing off of walls, but it looks like she'll fit. Keep wiggling. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So we're going to park the boat uh, right here for now, and uh, I'm going to need to widen up this place a little bit. But like I said, yeah, we'll park it here for now, and we need to now go ahead and get ourselves some some tools or some, some, some items to go out on our adventure because we, we can't just... I guess leave without without being prepared to go explore the sea. So what are we gonna need? We're gonna need a lot of food. Uh, our tools are pretty much good. I don't know that we'll take the trusty spade with us, uh, but we definitely take uh, the other things in my inventory. We have ammo. We have. Uh, I think we have enough ammo. Yeah, we, and we have a little bit of food. Let me go ahead and check our uh, chests and see if we have any food, and I will decide whether or not I need to make some. And if I need to make some, I will. Okay, and I am back. I have gotten my inventory completely ready. Uh, we have lots of food. We have quite a few shots. Uh, the oak saplings, now that I look at them, uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of like they just were never here. Let's go ahead and reload our musket and our, and our flintlock. Oh, there we go. And that's our flintlock. And now let's go ahead and get back to our boat. Uh, see it off there in the distance and we're gonna go ahead and make our way to the to the deep sea which is gonna be absolutely awesome now hopefully uh, nothing can attack us through this boat remember last uh, I, th I think it was last episode or maybe the episode before uh, we were attacked through the boat which was kind of annoying so like I said let's hope this that doesn't happen today and let me go ahead and click the helm mount ship and let's do this okay so we're going to go ahead and work our way through here. This is absolutely amazing. It looks like we can make it through one depth water. I'm still glad I made it two depth, you know, just for safety. Uh, let's go ahead and... Now, there's going to be a tight corner coming up here. Uh, right here to our right. I'm hoping we can make it through. You know what I should do? We should be in F. We should be in uh, in this mode, right? Because, like, this is how this is how it would look like if we were sailing, right? Or at least then we get a better view of the boat as well. Look, and we look like true pirates now in our awesome uh, skinny boat. Like I said, this boat is made to go through places. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're, we're going to be land wrecked. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't have my spade with me. Uh, uh. I'll dig you out, boat. I'm sorry. Okay, let me let me go ahead and dig the boat out, you guys. No, where are you going? Why do you keep doing this? Stop! Ah! Ah! Okay, I think the boat's caught in this current. Is it caught? In, was it caught in that current? Oh, I think I think it's it. I think that was it. Okay, um, let's go ahead and push it back, please. Oh, let's go ahead and get on it. Oh yeah, we can get on it. We can drive it out. Come on. Look, look, this this mouse has been watching like, oh my god, are you guys seeing this? He's laughing at us. Okay, let's go ahead and make it through. Come on, we're almost there. Wiggle our way through. There we go, come on. Once we get to open water, this won't be as, as much of a problem. I'm really glad we didn't add that extra width to the boat, though. That would have been absolutely ridiculous to handle. Now, 
here we are there is a sunken boat right there uh, if we need resources from it we can get it but like i said you guys here we are out in the ocean uh there's a manta ray right there let's go ahead and and get this baby close to the shore because uh, actually no we don't even need to get close to the shore i want to go ahead and see if this works uh, i grabbed the lucky fishing rod you know in the true spirit of being on the ocean uh, i figured we'd try to fish from from the uh from the boat so let's go ahead and do that and we'll see if we get anything here uh, real quick Wow, does the line seem thicker? The uh, the line from the from the fishing rod, this fishing rod seem a little bit thicker. I think it does. Okay, we'll see if we get a bite here. Oh, we got a bite! <gasps> We caught, a, we caught a raw salmon. Oh, that is so awesome, you guys. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to have to end the episode here. I'm really sorry if the episode seemed very short. Uh, I ended up recording. It's been a little bit over an hour now, having dealing with uh, getting the boat all prepared and doing all this kind of stuff. In the next episode, you guys, we will be going on a huge adventure uh, to hopefully find some new chunks loaded, like I said, so that we can so that we can hopefully or start a smaller base. Um, that base is obviously still going to be there. We're still going to go there. That's still going to be our main home but we need another outpost and i was thinking that we could do that in the next episode and we would also be able to um look into the ocean craft uh mod mod pack a little bit more out in new generated land so i want to thank you guys so much for watching uh i hope you have a great day if you enjoyed this episode please remember to hit that like button if you're looking forward to the next episode remember to hit that like button if you're new to the channel don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button if you don't know already i do live stream over on twitch and i also have a game wisp that releases all my videos a week early for five dollars a month so thank you guys uh all those links are down below and i hope you all have a great day